Philippine golf is back in the global golfing map. The sport has come a long way since its humble beginnings. In the late 1800s, the British introduced three-hole courses in paddy fields, which paved the way for the Manila Golf Club and the birth of Asia's longest-running golf tournament, the Philippine Open, founded in 1913. Larry Montes dominated the local scene during the early years, but soon after World War II, the Filipinos saw the rise of other golfing sensations, such as Celestino Tino Tugot, Luis Golem Silverio, Bantam Ben Arda and Frankie Minoza. But while golf thrived in the country for decades, Philippine golf experienced challenges and uncertainty. There was a lack of tournaments, denying local golfers a venue to hone their skills and compete with fellow professionals. A golf power in Asia, the Philippines would soon lag behind the likes of Japan, Korea, and even Thailand. But the good times are back. The entry of International Container Terminal Services Incorporated provided local golf the much needed shot in the arm. In 2002, ICTSI Chairman and President Enrique K. Razon Jr. launched the country's prestigious pro golf tournament, the Country Club Invitational Don Pocholo Razon Memorial Cup. ICTSI also answered the call for the national cause when it supported and co-organized the golf event of the 2005 Philippine Southeast Asian Games. The biggest milestone, however, was made in 2009. Philippine golf reached new heights as ICTSI established the Philippine Golf Tour, the country's pro golf league and now one of Asia's largest golfing circuits. Starting from just three tournaments, the Philippine Golf Tour has grown to 17 tournaments all across the country, promoting the best golf courses in the Philippines, and some of these tournaments are part of the larger Asian Tour. To date, the Tour has 131 professional golfers, all vying for a share of the total prize money of 27.5 million pesos, plus $120,000 for the Asian Tour events. Nagulat lang kami, ganun, naglaro ko sa tour, ganun. Gumawa ko ng pira ganito palaki. Nag-withdraw ko ganito, kalaking pira, ganun. Withdraw ko, 5,000 ang kinamalaki lang, ganun. Yun, nag-withdraw ko ng 1 million, 1.5, ganun. Para ibili ko ng guwan, bahay ko, hindi ko kutsi. Eh. Hindi ko kalahin makabili ko ng kutsi. Huwag hindi ko makabili ng itong bahay. ICTSI has brought back the prestige to the Philippine Open when it supported the Open as it made its way back into the Asian Tour schedule in 2011. Giving importance to the women's game, ICTSI launched an amateur golf program for women and just this year introduced the Ladies Philippine Golf Tour the country's first ladies' professional golf league. As a professional golfer, ICTSI helped me a lot. Aside from financial backing, the establishment of the LPGP parang, will give us more opportunities to compete against the best of the best. Planting the seeds for the future, ICTSI partnered with the Junior Golf Foundation of the Philippines to organize inter-school tournaments to search for promising young golfers or ICD assigned to support and develop. These are exciting times for Philippine golf. 
Golfers don't only earn from the sport, but are assured of sustained careers. With ICDSI's holistic program, starting from the junior level, amateur and up to the pro league. Pumaso ako sa ICTS ay madami akong nag-experience kasi well, hindi, hindi naman kasi kami mayama <laughs> na padala ako sa David Ledbetter Academy for four years. Pinaaral ako, bumalik ako dito to turn pro. Tsaka yung career ko gumanda. past 10 years, since the first tournament of the ECC Invitational, ICTSI has been responsible for Philippine Golf's revival and growth. ICTSI, envisioning a bright future for the Philippine golfer, locally and globally.